When kids are little, like they go to work with their dad. Their dad may be a businessman or own his business or construction worker. I go to work with my dad, and we like we save people's lives. Yeah, they always said that the real world kind of is different than high school, and yeah, I learned that in 15 minutes. Real. Keegan Tinney, 18 years old, just graduated from Joplin High School. Um, played football all four years. Did track two years. Uh, captain of the football team. My first three years of high school, I, I loaded up so my senior year I could slack off, which I did a lot. I just kind of kicked back and <laughs> kind of rarely went to class. But when I did, it was fun, and I mean, that was it. I was just ready to get out of there. So I got, I got my diploma, and I drove my friends to another parking lot. Well, there was a long line outside uh, in the parking lot, so I cut through the grass. I went down range line right here and took it all the way home and I ended up, I looked down one time and I was going 80, <laughs> just trying to get home because some, I just knew something said go home, don't stop, don't pull over. I pulled into my driveway and my dad said go change, get ready because St. John's has been hit. So we're driving down the range line to go pick up one of my friends, she was caught in it. So we had to go pick her up. Well, we never made it there. She was like at 13th and range line, and we only made it to 20th and range line. And we got out, it was, I mean, everyone saw the pictures and what Walmart and Home Depot, everything. That's where we ended up. We were the first ones on scene there. It got to where there were so many people and we couldn't get the ambulances in. So about an hour or two in, that's where home, we pulled into Home Depot back over there behind me. And that's when we uh, set up the triage unit back there. We just had an airway bag, a trauma bag, and that's what we were going with. So we were quick, I mean, we were quick. If people were breathing, they were in good shape. If they weren't bleeding, they were in great shape. So, I mean, that's just really how it was. And we were prioritizing how bad the patients were. You had, you had the worst kind of patients, people with impaled objects, amputations, everything, and you had to treat them. Like there was a guy with a piece of wood coming through his arm, and he was trying to help people, and that, you just really can't, do you get, I said, sir, you guys sit down. I got to take care of you first. I'm hoping that this will be the worst I ever see it. And so, like, I can just start at the top and it's an easy ride home. There's still at nights where it's hard to go to bed because you, you, you hear the screams of the people that were trapped and that you couldn't get to. That's one of the hardest things that there wasn't enough of me to, out there, I don't think. Like, I still play through, did I do everything capable to save the most amount of people? It's affected me in a sense that it, it's hard. I mean, I lost my best friend. It was Griffin Sonnady, Keegan Tinney, and Will Norton. We were the Trace Amigos. Now there's two Amigos. I mean, it's, it's hard to, to lose. What do you do? I mean, how do you handle that situation with you losing a best friend and losing half your town? It's, there's, I don't know the, the best way to handle it. And so I'm just living my life now to the best that I can. The, the main thing I've learned is that, that it can happen to you and your town and where you come from. That it's not just another storm, it could be the one. Be thankful for what you have and tell your family you love them when you can. Tell your friends that you're thankful and that you love them and that you're happy that they're there. Don't take anything for lightly.